All right, let's take a look at the last one in this uh, series. Um, so for question number 10, we're going to be looking at the um, properties of radicals. How do you simplify radicals? That's what we're looking at here. All right, so the question is, if x is greater than 1, then which of the following has the least value? Okay, so we have uh, five options here that we're going to be comparing. So x represents um, infinite possible uh set of numbers because we're looking for all numbers that are greater than one all right so if you have a problem like this where we are comparing um, a variable that meets certain conditions the strategy will be to pick a concrete variable that's favorable to work with um, and meets the conditions and just test it and then see which option meets the conditions that you're trying to test all right so here we're looking for which is the smallest so this is a strategy that we're going to employ for this problem. We are going to um, we're going to pick a number that is greater than one, and since we have square roots here, we're going to pick um, a perfect square. All right. So since most options that we're looking at here, since most options are um, are square roots or involve square roots well, since most options involve square roots we're gonna pick a uh, small square root Uh, that satisfies the conditions, satisfies the initial condition, and test it. Okay? And test it. All right, so what's a good candidate here? We have a lot of perfect squares. Um, we have one square is one, uh, two square is four, three square is nine, the list goes on and on. But we're looking for x to be greater than 1. Okay, so what's, what, what is a good candidate to use here? We have to use something that's bigger than 1. We can't use this one, right? So we can use 4. So we're going to let x be 4. Okay, so let x be our test dummy for this problem. Okay, let x be 4. Why? Well, since uh, 4 is greater than 1 and it's a perfect square. So it works nicely. Now let's go ahead and test it out. F square root of x is going to be square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So you see why we selected the perfect square, right? It makes our computation easy. g, how does it compare with the square root of 2x? Square root of 2x is the square root of four, uh, 2 times 4. Using the properties of radicals, we can break this up into root 2 times root 4, which is equal to um, root 2 times the square root of 4 is 2. And you can use your calculator to work this out, but um, square root of 2 is, is around 1.414. So uh, it's, it's approximately, we just guesstimating, okay? So it's approximately 1.41. So if you double that, you get um, 2.82. You can check this with your calculator. Remember, you are free to use a calculator um, on the uh, ACTs, okay? But you can complete the entire ACT without even touching your calculator. That's how cool the test is. All right, square root of x times x is the square root of 4 times 4. Using the properties of radicals, this can be written as root 4 times root 4. If you root both of them, that's 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Option J, x root x. Let's substitute our test value 4 in there. So 4 root 4. How does it compare with the rest? This is 4 times. The square root of 4 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. And then lastly, K, x times x. x times x is going to be 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Now, since we use a concrete test value here, we can easily compare the results to see which is the least. So the smallest out of all of them 
is option F. Okay, square root of X is the smallest. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the ACTs, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests that will help you do well on the um, ACT, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos to our page on a weekly basis. So subscribe so you can get notification of future updates. If you'd like to gain access to a wide variety of support resources to help you pass the ACT, do visit our website at madgoodserve.com. Also take a look at the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.